Welcome back to Mr. Bobino X and welcome to this brand new series on building a house using make code in Minecraft education. So as we go through this series, we're going to follow a process to be able to achieve the goal of building a house in Minecraft using make code. And that is by defining our big goals, which is to build a house and then breaking down that big goal into medium sized goals so that we're able to tick each of these off as we go and by the time we tick each of these goals off we've achieved our big goal. So we need to figure out what our medium goals are for this project and for this project our first medium goal is building a foundation for our house. Our second medium goal is going to be to build four walls and our third medium goal is going to be to build a roof. So I know that once I've achieved all three of those goals, I've actually succeeded in achieving my big goal of building a house. But for now, we're gonna focus on our first medium goal to build a foundation, and that is going to take front and center. We're not gonna worry about any of the other goals until we've figured out how to build our foundation. So we need to break this process down into even smaller goals or steps to be able to go and build a foundation. So step one, we've got to actually figure out how to put a block into the world with code. That's going to be our very first goal. And this might seem really simple, but when you're starting a big project, the most important thing is that you can break down your first steps into little achievable chunks so that you can tick those off really quickly and feel success because that will help carry you through for the rest of the project. Our second step or our second mini goal is going to be actually taking the builder or the agent or however we place our block down in code and then moving forward with whatever it is that we're using and placing another block and so on and so forth until we create a line of blocks to be able to start our foundation. And once we've done that, we want to be able to reset the position of that builder or reset the position of that agent back to its original position and then move over by one, ready for step four, which is going to be to continue that repetitive pattern of actually building another row and another row and another row until we have our foundation complete. So that's where we're heading towards with our first medium goal, which is to build a foundation. And we're gonna jump over to Minecraft and have a look at that right now. So here we are in the lush green fields of Minecraft and we're gonna jump over to make code with the C key. We're gonna make a new project. We're gonna call this project, build a house. Very simple and plain. I'm just gonna zoom in here. Uh, we're gonna do an on chat command and we're gonna call this house. This is gonna be our main command for our project. I'm gonna go down to my agent and teleport my agent to 000, which means right where I am. And I'm gonna make him face north. I'm then gonna go back and I'm gonna move him up by one because we're going to build a block underneath wherever that agent is. And so then once I've done that, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna get a block that I can put into the first slot uh, for the agent. And I'm gonna set that to spruce wood just so it's easier for us to see. And then finally, we're going to place that block down underneath the agent, wherever they happen to be. Also, I wanna to go to the positions tab and I'm gonna go down and get the ground at command because what this will do is wherever I'm in the world, it'll find the ground and it'll put the agent on the ground. So let's test this out here. I'm gonna type in house and there we go. Our agents build a block and our house is done. Uh, no, not actually. Okay, let's keep going. So then what I want to do is grab the repeat command and uh, I can't put it in there. So we're going to take all the code out that we want to put in and then we're going to replace it. And then we're going to repeat this code four times and make the block place it. Uh, oh, what's going on here? Okay, what we forgot to do was to actually get the move command and move the agent forward each time the repeat command runs. So we're going to do that. Let's try it. House. And there we go, yay, our agent is moving forward. So that's fantastic, we've got our agent moving forward, but we don't want them moving forward just by four. So we're gonna make a new variable and we're going to call that variable length. And this is attached to our house command. So that any time we put a number after our house command, it's going to repeat our code, whatever that number is. So let's go back, we're gonna put house and I'll do four again, just to test it. Then I'm going to come down and I'm going to try it again with a different number. Let's go with seven. Cool, placing out seven blocks, repeating that code seven times. 
Then we'll come down and I'll just do three. One, two, three. All right, now we've got a bit of a thing here. Now we can see at the end, the agent is actually going forward by one after it's created the block. So it's always gonna be off the block and this is important for later. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna repeat the, all of that code again, the same amount of times that we put in for the length. So we're actually going to do a multiplication here. So if we put in three, it's gonna be three times three. So let's have a look at that in action. So house three goes through max three blocks, then repeats that again and again. So it's repeated that three times. So we've got nine. Now we're gonna go back and we're going to actually go and take our agent and we're going to reset our agent back to its original position each time it runs through the repeat once. So it's gonna go back by three and then it's going to move left by one. So we're just gonna have it go back, reset its position and then move left by one. Let's try that. Okay, three and reset and left. Yep, and reset and left and reset and left. Okay, fantastic. Our agent has done its job. Now, alas, we are going to kill our agent right now. So slash kill at C and no, no, we're not going to kill everything that starts with C, Mr. Cal. Okay, thank you, goodbye, see you later. All right, we're back in our code. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use our builder this time to build our code. I'm gonna take out all of our agent code and I'm gonna replace it with builder code. Same sort of code in the builder part. We've got build the teleport to. I'm actually gonna take part of our agent code and say build the teleport to ground because the builder will actually build the block right where the builder is rather than needing to actually have it uh, move up by one. So we're gonna get our repeats. We're gonna repeat our repeats and we're gonna make sure that we've got our lengths in there. So we're repeating and this is how we make our square. We're then gonna go back to builder and we're going to place a block and we're gonna put that into our middle repeat and that's gonna be our spruce wood again. And then we're going to move our builder forward by one. After we've done our forward by one and we've got that in, we're gonna to remember to reset our builder block all the way back to the starting position for that row. And we're gonna reset that by the length. So we go back and then we're going to move it to the left by one. And that is exactly the same code as we had to do for the agent, but this time we're doing it with the invisible builder. So house five, and there we go. We have built our foundation using the builder rather than the agent. And I can test that again with house three and it's doing three by three and five by five. But we need to change that cobblestone because we are making our foundation. So let's test that again. House five, cobblestone and fantastic. Yes, congratulations. We've got our foundation sitting there very nicely. All right, so if you've been building along with me, you will have achieved building a foundation for your make code Minecraft house. Congratulations, and give yourself a pat on the back. Give me a like, give me a subscribe because I've taken you through the first third of the process and helped you to succeed in your journey in learning how to code in Make Code and Minecraft. So you'll definitely not want to miss the next video in the series, which is the building four walls. We're going to be diving into that in the next video. So make sure you're subscribed and ready for when that comes out. All right, I will see you in the next video. See you later.